Assalamu alaikum. Today is Saturday, March 21st, 2020. Can hot weather stop coronavirus? According to a report recently published by researchers at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, more than 95% of coronavirus cases appeared in countries with mean temperature between 37 degree to 55 degree Fahrenheit. Countries below 0 degree centigrade and above 21 degree centigrade accounts for less than 10% of cases, the report said. In the United States, southern warmer states account for less than 25% of cases, while much of the outbreak is spreading in northern states currently at the temperatures between 0 degree centigrade and 15 degree centigrade. But a dramatic surge in coronavirus infection in Southeast Asia in recent days has increased doubt over the theory that warmer weather could stem the spread of the virus, health experts say. Relatively low number of new infections in many Southeast Asian countries had been cited as possible evidence that hotter weather was suppressing the virus, giving hope to Europeans and the US as they head into spring. What to do if you think you caught the virus? A dedicated hotline has been set up in several countries for people who suspect they have been infected. People in the country are asked to contact the hotline before going to hospital to avoid the possibility of spreading the virus in and unprepared health care facilities are on the way there. Individuals are required to contact specialized help as soon as they suspect they are ill and to limit contact with others as much as possible. To date, there is no vaccine or medicine for COVID-19. While some traditional or home remedies can provide comfort of the disease, there is no proof that existing medicine can prevent or cure it according to the WHO. How to prepare for self-quarantine or lockdown? At least 14 days are recommended for a self-quarantine while the duration of a lockdown depends on the decision of a local government. Given the likelihood that more and more people around the world will be housebound, preparing one's home for that eventually is an increasing concern. Among the things being shocked are non-perishable foods including shelf-stable beverages, sauces, pasta, pulses, rice, cereal, crackers and dry goods including tea, sugar and coffee. Basically medical supplies including over-the-counter medications to alleviate possible symptoms which in mild cases have a lot in common with the symptoms of the common cold. Medicines for fever, congestion and cough are recommended. Cleaning and hygiene supplies needed would include soap for hand washing, bathing, laundry and cleaning as well as disinfectants to keep surface clean. Also important is preparing some activities that can be undertaken within the home, whether a list of books to read or an entertainment or exercise subscription that can be used without going out. The WHO has acknowledged the crisis is causing the public increased level of anxiety. It is recently published guidance. It advised people who are feeling stressed to avoid reading, watching and listening to news excessively. Thanks for watching TV Khabar News Studio. Have a nice day. Take care.